All right, so let's make a sequencer. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's make that sequencer. Been getting the software to work for the last little while here. Okay, so let's do make a bleep. Um, this screencast, mini screencast, will just be about this make a bleep thing. We need something to sequence. We need a sound maker. So um, I know this might be a bit backwards because um, what's going on inside this make a bleep sub patch that I made is you know, a little bit complicated, but uh, we need something to, to sequence. So this is basically the this most minimal synthesizer I could possibly imagine. It just uses a sine wave, so when you give it a number, a MIDI number, it spits out a little tone, uh, a very, very plain tone. So mm -hmm. when I click on this, you'll see, let me turn down this sound a little bit. Um, so I just click on these keys. This is the K-slider object that generates a MIDI number based on which key you press. So like middle C, or that's not middle C. Middle C is what, 72 or something like 60, that? 60, I thought it was 60. That doesn't sound like middle C, but. No. Okay, so C, the C key here is 72. It's a, it's a standard MIDI note attached to this C key on the keyboard. Um, when you send 72 to this make a bleep, envelope sub patch it spits out a sound that uh, and I'm putting it through a gate so that I can easily turn it on and off but it spits out a sound um, that is that you know that note which the nice thing here is that you can just take a number and you can hear the number so um, there's a very very simplified version of it here uh, it essentially is uh, taking the number coming out of case slider going through m to f which translates a MIDI note into a frequency so here, the C key is supposed to be 523.3 hertz, and then it triggers uh, a bang and a float. So it triggers a bang to generate a ramp line to make that note trail off over time. In this case, it's trailing off over 500 milliseconds. And then it also generates a sign tone with the cycle object that generates the tone itself. Those two things, the ramp and the tone, are multiplied together, and the result is you get a, a ramped down tone. Um, otherwise, sign would just keep making the note forever. Right. Um, now, the, that's the simplified version. The more complex version, you can see everything here. Um, it's, it's essentially the same. It's just you have a little bit more control over the ramp um, using this function generator. You can see the tone that's being generated right here. You can see the ramp coming down right here. And then when you multiply those together, you see the end result. Uh, so, for instance, if I click on the keyboard here, You see the ramp here. In action. It's a little uh, it's not, interesting. It's yeah. kind of not working. What's going on? I think this Yeti uh, audio or this uh, Telestream driver is not working very well. Huh. Let's try it over here. Okay. So you see the ramp here. You see the sign tone, and then you see them multiply together to create the, the tone itself. All right. Um, but essentially, this is a make a bleep sub patch that I use over and over again. Uh, I use it a lot when I'm just building a patch when I want to hear some numerical activity. Sometimes for me it's easier to understand a pattern in the data that's ha that's going on inside my patch. Um, you could print it to the, the console window and, and see the numbers streaming out, but honestly sometimes it's uh, it's easier to pipe those numbers into a little sound generator like this and you can get a sense of the patterns just with your ears instead of trying to figure them out. So. Um, I actually gonna, think this make a bleep is yeah. a really useful utility, um, and it, especially for what we're doing with it. Yeah. yeah so we're going to build sequencers. So we need some instrument to to uh, drive uh, to drive. When we build our sequencers, we're going to drive an instrument. So rather than get fancy with MIDI or anything complicated, um, let's just start really simply with this basic instrument. Just a, a very simple uh, uh, synthesizer. All right. Perfect. Good.